You guys want to know why they're trying to cancel or they tried to cancel Andrew Tate? Why they're trying to cancel Jordan Peterson? The reason why is because they want this young generation to be weak and soft. I mean, if you look at their messages, all their messages are just traditional masculinity values. Be strong, provide for your family, provide for your, your, your children, your wife, protect them, love them, have a legacy. What's so wrong about these messages that these men are portraying to the young youth? Nothing is wrong. So I came across a troubling fact and I want to talk about it today because it's just going to, it's just more evidence that our society is going down the wrong direction. So I know a lot of you older guys watch this channel. So I want you guys to comment your thoughts about this subject, or if you guys have kids, I want you guys to comment your thoughts about the subject just to tell the, um, the, the younger men what's really going on because you guys are actually going through it right now. So I, I was watching a recent YouTube content creator that I watch frequently, and one of his supporters asked him, hey, how would you raise a daughter in this day and age? And he said, it's going to be very hard to raise a daughter. It's going to be very hard to keep her away from the 304-ism because you can do everything right in your household. And she'll still get got when she goes to the public school, when she gets on social media, when she go gets talks to her friends, when she gets on the music. But he said, normally it doesn't even get that far. Normally it gets to the woman in your household, your co-parent that teaches her this stuff. That when y'all get divorced, or if y'all get divorced, that is the woman that is telling the daughter all these different types of things on what she should do and how she should operate. Now, this is the thing you have to understand about our society. They want the young men to be weak. They want the women to to, to, roll, to run over them. There was a recent video where a woman was saying that the education gap is widening when it comes to women and men. And she's online praising it, online happy about it. And what these women don't refuse to realize is if your children, if your men are weak, you're weak. If your men are weak, your society is weak. Now, how would you raise a son when every time he steps out the door, he's being called a toxic person, a toxic masculine and a chauvinist? He told you're the enemy, told that you were the problem of why our society is, it is, is what it is. And you hear that stuff uh, ages six all the way up to 18. Hell, even in college, you get it. So we're talking about a 10 to 12 period of your life where you're just being told that you're the problem. Now, I don't know if you, if you guys understand how moldable and malleable a young child's brain is. After they hear a particular message forever, they start to believe it. They're like the elephant with the stake in the ground. The baby elephant can't pull the stake out of the ground. So after a while, he stops trying, even though he grows into a, an adult and he could barely, he, could, he can move it rather easily, get the stake out of the ground very easily. So you have men right now that have been told they're the problem. You shouldn't fight, you shouldn't be violent. When in actuality, you should have a propensity for violence in particular times when it's necessary, when it's time to protect your family, when it's time to protect yourself, when it's time to protect your friends and family, your country. These are the avenues in which violence is needed. 
you're being taught you're the problem at every single turn in our society. And how do you expect a young man to develop into anything, to be something strong when we're promoting women above him, that women are better than him from young ages on up, indoctrinating him that he's the problem. Not saying that there haven't been toxic men in the world, but it, most men are not toxic. They're, they're putting their, the small group of men that have these toxic behaviors and generalizing it across the, the um, population of men. So this is the thing you have to understand. This is done on purpose. I mean, the amount of programming on TikTok, the amount of program, like if you're on TikTok, bro, I would get off of TikTok, have naked women, far left ideology, Bro, like, if you want to lose some brain cells, download TikTok and watch it to an hour a day. You will lose, your IQ will drop. People talk about being chipped. They don't need to chip you. They've already chipped you. They ain't got to wait to Elon Musk to get the neural trials, the Neuralink human trials to get them going. You've already been chipped. Society's already chipped young men from education, entertainment, economics, labor, law, politics, sex, religion, to do, to, to be weak. And this is why these women are complaining that they're not uh, finding any strong men. We don't cultivate in this culture strong men. Tate and Jordan Peterson they're just trying to uh, make strong men. But obviously society doesn't want strong men. Why? Because weak men are easily taken over in times of invasion. So, and this is the, this is the terrible thing that you have to realize, right? Because women are gonna go down this road and they're going to believe all the liberalism and all the the feminism and the sexual liberation and and you know go girl and strong independent all this shit is when it comes to women is just social cues they're taking right i mean if you ask a woman why are you a feminist why are you sexually liberated why do you believe these things most times they can't give you a good answer why because somebody told them what to think, told them what to do. It's very hard to have an original thought as a human being. It's very hard to have an original action because everything that we do revolves around being social. She will think one thing, but if you put enough social pressure on her, she will conform to that other thing that you want her to conform to. Right. This is why women don't stand up against other women because the social pressures are too strong against her. She can't help but stick with the herd. And this is the thing that you have to realize. And this is the thing that you that that makes me laugh when they say a woman should lead when she's the ultimate social creature. She she takes her validation from the world. Look at the, the long fingernails. Look at the long eyelashes. Men don't like that shit. Men don't like that. But they're doing it to impress the world. They're doing it because that's what their friend group wants to do. They're dying their hair blonde because every woman is dying their hair blonde. But they want women to be leaders when they have no 
most times no, no original thought. They didn't think through the all the possibilities. They didn't look at feminism and go through, okay, first, second, third, fourth wave. Um, I don't believe in that. I believe in that. Okay, sexually liberated. Okay, um, why do I need to be sexually liberated? Oh, well, here's the consequences. Here's the pros. Well, it seems like the consequences are way higher. Why should I be sexu sexually liberated? I shouldn't. X. They don't do that. And that's what's going to happen in this society. When you guys get into relationships, there's a, there's a high possibility somebody's going to get in her ear. This is how cheating starts. Somebody's going to get in her ear, get her emotions going, draw her away from you, have her under his control. Friends going to get in her ear. Draw her and convince her away because she 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 values the social group more than she values your leadership. This is the society that we have right now. This is the, this is the culture that we have right now, and it's not getting better, guys. So you guys better be aware and understand what the dynamics are. It's very hard to be a strong man today without facing any kind of backlash. But if you listen to society, it will make you a weak man and you will be unattractive to women and you will not be a strong man when it's time for confrontation. So you have to be one hell of a man in today's society to, to, to figure out and go through and maneuver through this kind of weak uh, demand, this kind of uh, indoctrination that they want you to be a weak male. You're going to have to find and slither and fight to find the right information that you need to learn in order to be a good quality man in, today, in today's society. So that's my video. Siri kind of bugging in. You see, you see, they, they see they, the programming. <laughs> they already listening to me, y'all. So like, comment, subscribe, share the video if you like the video. And you guys have a good day, good week. See you in the next one, man. Peace.